So today we're going to be doing an oil change on the 2006 Ducati Monster 620. Um, it has about 3,800 miles on it right now. The original oil change was uh, done around 600, the first maintenance. And it was in a garage for like seven years before I picked it up a couple months ago. So it's going to be its first oil change since the original oil change. And even though it's not supposed to be changed, I guess till the maintenance time at 6,000 miles, I'd like to do it uh, a little sooner. And this is what we have. I bought a, a Ducati filter. And then uh, that was about $22, including the crush washer. And then I bought like this tin foil pan to catch all the oil and paper towels. We got a little funnel to pour in the oil. We got the oil, 10 W40. I got the, the filter remover tool, then the 10 millimeter hex key, and a bicycle seat for extra leverage when we're going to be removing the hex key. First we're going to uh, start up the motorcycle and uh, let the oil warm up a little bit. So we start up for about a minute or two, get up to the temperature so the way it pours out nice and easy. Okay, so once the motorcycle is heated up a little bit, um, the oil is gonna flow nicely. So what we do, make sure you don't burn yourself, even though these are not that hot, get a little bit warm. So with a 10 millimeter key, you give it a little turn. And if it's tight, like it is in my case, use a little uh, pipe give you extra leverage if your key is short. Boom. So there we go. It's now loose. So as soon as we pull this out, we're going to have oil coming out. So don't get too dirty. and don't get too hot and burnt. Ooh, terrible. See, this is why you have uh, all this stuff here. Check it out. See, I just spilled oil all over the place. And look how dirty and nasty that oil is. That is why I was changing it. Even though it's only been 3,000 miles, that is filthy. And somebody once told me that if a motorcycle is like a human engine, human engine, human body, um, gasoline is like air, while oil is like blood. All right, so let me clean this up. I'll get back to you. Let it drain out. So while, while oil is still dripping out, we're gonna go ahead and remove the oil filter itself. So you have to have this little tool and you just give it a little twist and uh, it's going to be some more oil in there. Uh, so it's totally okay. Man this oil is dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. So yeah, let it drain out. See, it has still the original Ducati one. Yeah, basically I overpaid like $5 just to get the Ducati oil filter as opposed to some other brand. But I think it's worth it. You know, only the best since this was made for Ducati Monsters. Might as well use it. So while all this is draining, you look at this little plug. Um, 
the crush washer seems like it's still up there. So we're gonna have to pull it out. But this little thing, we need to clean it up. That's when you take one of your paper towels and it's a magnet at the end. So there's all these metal shavings that get attached to it, attracted to it. So you gotta clean this thing up. Yeah, and we got the new crush washer. So once we're re reinstalling it, it's gonna be beautiful. So clean this thing up as much as you can, nice and clean. So after a couple of minutes of the oil dripping, we take our freshly cleaned uh, plug and replace it back where it goes. It's still dripping, but it's gonna be dripping for a while. Uh, so we clean off this area as much as we can. And put it in the new crush washer. And guide the bolt in there. As far as tightening it, I don't have a torque wrench, so I do it nice and snug. Yeah, that's beautiful. That way, you can remove it. So after that, you clean out the filter area. Basically, all this oil that's on the exhaust, it's not a big deal. It just means that it's gonna smoke when you start the bike back up. Some people wrap the exhaust and everything. I've seen that done, but, you know, I didn't. So, now, installing the new filter. Basically, you take some of the old oil, that's totally fine, and create a little seal around the rubber. Like that, just a little bit. And, you gently find the, the thread in there, and guide it on. Nice and easy by hand. And the problem, you can probably tighten it by hand, totally, but after working with some oil, your hands are a little greasy, so use the tool and just give it a couple of turns until it's nice and snug. Yeah, beautiful. I like it. There we go. All right. So the next step is the funnest. So the next step is pouring oil. This is the little foil cap, oil filler cap that you just remove by hand, nice and easy. You get your funnel, fits perfectly here. And Usually the bike, I guess, takes three and a half quarts. Well, that's what I read on the internet. So maybe that's not 100% correct. But basically, the idea, I'm going to put in three quarts, see how it levels out, and then uh, maybe add more. This thing is five and a half quarts. So once I put in what I need to put in, there should be two quarts left. So once I put in about three quarts of oil, I'm gonna start this puppy up and I guess let the oil go everywhere and settle for a little bit. The oil level is supposed to be right here in the middle and right now it's actually perfectly in the middle if you look.
once you tip the bike vertically, it's perfectly in the middle. That just means there's plenty of oil. So, our oil change is complete. Great job. Now what you do is you take it out for a ride, let all the oil settle, and possibly add more. But obviously the very next step is to get rid of that. So what you do is you use a container. Mine is not empty, the oil one, but you can use like a juice jar, jug, jug or some sort. And just basically funnel the dirty oil back in there and take it back to AutoZone and get rid of it. So to get rid of that nasty oil, we're going to use two two-quart Mott's apple juice containers. And the reason why I use Mott's is because I love apple juice because it's freaking delicious. So it's like two birds with one stone. So here's the best part. And we're going to do it on video so maybe if I spill it everywhere, it'll be really funny. inside my poor bike. It's perfectly black and nasty. Sorry little Ducati. I'm gonna be better with you going forward. Anyway, so now we just get rid of all this crap, throw it all out, take that to AutoZone. It's gonna be a beautiful trip.